Mario Party is a long-running multiplayer series from Nintendo, where four players compete to collect the most stars in a set period of time on an obstacle-filled board. Mario Party is just like a baking competition. You have four chefs in a kitchen, and Nintendo says, all right, guys, you have one hour to bake as many cakes as possible. Whoever has the most cakes at the end wins. And you say, all right, I'm gonna work hard, and with enough skill and strategy, I can bake the most cakes. Now, in Mario Party, you earn stars by moving your character to the star location on the map. There's four total players, and then whoever has the most stars at the end of the game wins. But the key is that you only make progress with dice. You hit this die and it gives you a random number from one to six. You don't control it at all, but that is how much progress you will make. So in this baking competition, you pull out your pots and pans and cake ingredients and you turn on the oven, but the oven sets itself to 225 degrees. And you're like, that's weird. 225 is way too low. That's gonna take forever to bake a cake. And you say, yo, Nintendo, I think your oven is broken. It just picked a temperature randomly and it doesn't look like I can change it. There's just one giant button. And Nintendo goes, oh, don't worry. This is a mystery oven. In another minute, you can press the on button again and the mystery oven will pick a new random temperature for you. See, there you go. And you say, but that's a horrible way to cook. This will give me no control over the cooking process. And, and plus, Brock Luigi's oven just set itself to 350 degrees, so he's gonna be way ahead of me. Is there any way I can just pick the temperature? Well, in Super Mario Party, they added a new feature. Every single character has its own special die with a unique set of outcomes. So now you don't have to use the main random dice. You have the option to use the character's random dice. So now you can cook with this special mystery oven. Half the time it sets to zero degrees and the rest of the time it's 5,000 degrees. And I'm like, this doesn't really help, dude. The special oven still doesn't let me choose the outcome and the average temperature is exactly the same as the mystery oven anyways. It's just differently random. And then Nintendo says, I know, it's a party. And I say, no, 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 what is the point of having a baking competition if I have no control over the thing that actually does the baking? All right, well, how about this? Everybody stops baking and we have a cooking mini game. Wait, what? Every few minutes, Nintendo stops everybody from baking cakes and you have a mini game competition. They pick a random game to play with a totally unique set of rules and the winner of the mini game earns coins, which can be used to buy stars. If you reach a star location, obviously. This mini cooking game is pancake flipping. Whoever flips that pancake wins. This does sound fun, but what does this have to do with baking cake? First up is Wario. Next is Peach. Now Luigi. And now your turn. And you flipped that pancake perfectly. You nailed this challenge using your own skill and decision making and you were rewarded for it. And Nintendo says, congratulations. And you say, thanks, th that actually felt pretty good. And Nintendo goes, here's your reward, a bunch of cake ingredients so that you can cook even more cakes. And I go, oh my God, thanks Nintendo, this is awesome. Wait, 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 wait. I can't actually use these cake ingredients, remember? My stupid mystery ovens keep cooking so slowly that I can't actually get any baking done. And Nintendo goes, I know, it's a party. And I say, no, 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 what, what I'm saying is, what is the point of mini games if my oven prevents me from even using the resources that I win? Um... So in Mario Party, this goes on and on over the course of the game. Every round, you press a button on your mystery oven and it sets a random temperature and your baking goes faster or slower as a result. And after 10 or 15 minutes, somebody finally gets the star. And the cool part is that when someone gets to the star, Toad then moves the star to a completely new location and everyone else gets no reward for all the progress they had made. This is like if you've been baking your cake for 20 minutes now and your mystery oven's been baking really slow, but the cake is cooking a little bit and a little bit more and a little bit more and it's all almost done. But then Luigi finishes his cake right before you. Mamma mia. And Nintendo yells, Luigi finished the first cake. And Nintendo runs over to you, rips your cake out of the oven, dumps it in the freaking trash and yells, all right, everybody start a new cake, go. And you say, wait, 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 why'd you just throw out my cake? It was almost done. And Nintendo says, well, Luigi finished his first. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense to throw away all my progress just because Luigi's oven was a little luckier, right? Mamma mia. And besides, you just gave Luigi a massive lead and I can't actually catch up to him because of my stupid mystery oven. I know, it's a party. 
what kind of parties are you going to? As the game goes on, you'll also encounter random events or items. These might increase your dice roll, which is like making your oven hotter, or they might give you an ally who adds to your dice roll every single turn, which is like Luigi getting a permanent sous chef who helps him bake while you have to cook solo. Or you can land on Lakitu's space and have him steal a star for you, and that's just what it sounds like. And you keep playing more mini cooking games like Strawberry Chess and Banana Flip and Tossing Toadette's Salad. And again, you can't do much with the winnings since your baking is entirely dictated by your oven, but you keep working hard and baking cakes and Nintendo throws them in the trash before you can finish them and you do more mini games and start more cakes and items and ovens and cakes and items and finally a full hour of furious baking later, the time runs out and you're ready to determine the winner. Who baked the most cakes? The competition is over. Let's tally the final scores. Peach baked one cake. Peach. Wario Oreo has two cakes. Wah. Doug baked zero. Pfft. And Luigi has 17 cakes. Mamma mia. But before we declare Luigi the winner, we have to give out bonus cakes. Huh? In Mario Party, they give out bonus stars at the end of the game. You might get a bonus for using the most items, or moving the least spaces, or having the most allies, and the categories are completely random, so you can't plan for them and you never know who will win. Wait, doesn't giving out cakes now pretty much undo all the baking we just did for a full hour? Princess Peach, you get one bonus cake for using the most spoons. Peach, Peach. Luigi, you get one bonus cake for setting off the fire alarm. Mamma mia. And Doug? You get 20 bonus cakes for getting salmonella. Wait, really? Yes, so now you have the most cakes. You won. Oh my God. You mean I won because of bonus cakes? Yeah, now you have the most, even though the bonus categories were random. Yeah, even though bonus cakes have literally no strategy and undermine the entire game that we just played. Yeah, oh my God, I won. Yes, you did. And that means you win the grand prize. A prize? Oh my God. This prize is one of the greatest inventions of our age. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. This prize kicks ass. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, it's a 30 day trial of Audible. Yes! It's time to stop baking cakes and flipping flapjacks because there's never been a better time to start listening on Audible. With Audible, you get access to an unbeatable selection of audiobooks, including bestsellers, motivation, mysteries, thrillers, memoirs, and more. Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks on the planet, and now with Audible Originals, the selection has gotten even more custom with content made for members. I really genuinely love Audible. I've used it a ton, and then right now I'm listening to Jim Gaffigan's book, Food, A Love Story. Jim Gaffigan is one of my favorite stand-up comedians, and then just like me, he has no legitimate qualifications to talk about food, but he goes into these incredible, ridiculous rants about his favorite foods, and it's read by Jim Gaffigan, so it's basically a food-themed comedy set, and it's incredible, and I highly recommend it. Audible members can choose three titles every month. You get one audiobook and two Audible Originals, which are audiobooks you can't hear anywhere else. Audible members also get access to exclusive audio fitness programs. You can listen on any device, anytime, anywhere, at home, at the gym, on your commute, or just on the go. You'll also enjoy easy audiobook exchanges, rollover credits, and an audiobook library you keep forever even if you cancel. Audible, the most inspiring minds, the most compelling stories, the best place to listen. You can get started with a 30-day trial when you go to audible.com slash dugdug or text dugdug to 500-500 and listen for a change. That is audible.com slash dugdug and then just a big thank you to Audible for sponsoring the channel. But anyways, Mario Party makes no goddamn sense. The whole game is built around this board that you have no control over, and the only thing you do control is mini games, which don't matter anyways. Now, I can't be too hard. Mario Party has given me a ton of entertainment over the years, or it's at least destroyed my friendships in memorable ways, and this newest version is the best one yet, since the mini games are fantastic and the character dice help, but it just makes no sense how little control they give you over the core game elements, and it removes any feeling that I can have a real impact on what's going to happen. So if I were to give this game an on Honest, critical review, I would score it pretty badly. But in true Mario Party fashion, I will instead award my final score with dice. Five out of three.